what, when was the fir first time you met Penn Ward, creator of Adventure Time? And did he have the pitch to you live? Uh, the first time I personally met him was in the pitch. Mm. And, but my um, development executive, Eric Homan, who is the guy who really first met Penn, met him at the, uh, in the, at the end of his junior year. Uh, his college, it's called Cal Arts in Valencia, California, mm. has a show of the films that students made that year. And so Eric attended the show, saw one of Penn's films, met him. The exact same thing happened a year later. There was the, he was now Penn's a senior. He's about to graduate. They met again. Penn heard that we were taking pitches, and he came up with a pitch for Adventure Time and pitched it to Eric and my other colleague on the West Coast, uh, Kevin Colby. They loved it and asked me to you know, sit in on a pitch. So I walk in the room. Here is this guy with this big beard <laughs> um, wearing a really um, thick sweater um, because <laughs> even though it was like 95 degrees out, I found out afterwards it's because he had just learned how to knit. And wow. So made himself a sweater. And he's standing there with a guitar. And I got to tell you, in, you know, 10,000 pitches that we've gotten, nobody's been in their thing like the guitar. And he starts singing. And I don't know if you've ever seen the movie. Uh, there's uh, something about Mary with yeah. Jonathan Richman being sort of the Greek chorus. Like occasionally they. Yeah, he just comes in and sort of, yeah. Sings the thing. That's what Penn was like. All of a sudden he starts like singing what turned out to now be the ukulele opening of Adventure Time. That is great. And he sang that and put the guitar down before he started telling us anything about the cartoon. That was my first meeting with Penn. So it's back to what you were saying, just like that, that story, like you, you could sort of get a, a tiny glimpse of that world that he wanted to create. That's exactly. amazing. But I will tell you just to sort of the first end of the story is I saw the pitch, loved it, and then said we weren't going to do the cartoon. Seriously? Yeah. Well, so what, what happened after that? Well, you know, I'm, uh, I was at the time I was in my mid fifties and I'd been making cartoons for like 15 years. And like every other idiot executive, I thought I knew what made a good cartoon <laughs> and this did not fit it on the surface. There's a guy with a guitar. His drawing looks funny compared to all, I mean, like funny, weird. It, yeah. To all the cartoons were, you know, the other cartoons we had already introduced, you know, 15 years before a new style of cartoons with Dexter's Laboratory and Cow and Chicken and the Powerpuff Girls. Right. And, you know, in my mind, that was cartoons. We had introduced this whole new generation of talent. And, you know, I was just sort of riding the wave. 